Hey guys, Mike with Long Range with the Lilies here with Matt Yor of Sawtooth Rifles and also Dependabelt um, with a cool product that I thought we wanted to share with you guys. Um, so this is your modular bench mount system and in my mind it's kind of perfect for the guy with limited space. Is that what sparked this? Yeah, just mainly being able to just you know take this press off my bench set something else on the bench at the same time without having to undo bolts. Um, you know, don't have a, a ton of holes in my bench just to mount different things to it, but not all of us have, you know, the dream garage where we have 20 foot of bench space and we can mount every, every device we want in its own dedicated real estate, basically. So being able to quickly take this off, mount my trimmer here, or mount a, a bench vise here, um, and get by with with basically just one spot where where you can mount these or or two or three different spots where you can mount all this stuff and move it around okay so you've got your system here kind of broken down um, what does the system consist of so the heart of the system is actually made by orange vice company and this is what they call the swivel base that comes with their their bench vice and it's it's kind of based off of a lot of the stuff that they do for work holding vices inside of a milling machine, but um, basically has this receiver type plate and then our mounts have the, the pull stud on the bottom and essentially goes in, in side there. And then as you torque these two screws down, it, it pulls on that pull stud and sandwiches the plates together. There's a, a dowel pin that then keeps it from rotating as well. So really solid setup and very simple too so. yeah so you would mount you would buy this plate for your pattern bolt holes for your whatever you're mounting to be it a dillon or rcbs a zero press Correct. your trimmer yeah. whatever and then this plate is always the same and you can just change out this one little swivel stud yeah and then mount it so yeah here we have the zero press uh it's mounted up and so i just want to show how quick this thing comes apart is you just loosen the pins that hold the the dowel pin is that right or the uh the pull stud mm -hmm. let me get the other side over there yeah. so we can take that out and let's say we want to put the trimmer on We all have the, these pull studs available too, so you don't have to, you can buy multiples of them and not have to swap it back and forth or just have one and swap it back and forth, but either way. And then you just tighten those down and you're good to go. Yep. So yeah, in my mind, this is perfect for the guy who's kind of reloading in a small room or, you know, a small space. And then he can just transfer stuff out. A little touch on that one. Yeah, nice. <laughs> so what have you mounted to this? So we've got, there's three different sizes of, of what I'm calling a slotted uh, universal base, which would be like this one. Um, this one will fit like the Hornady lock and load press or most of the RCBS line. There's, there's nuts that slide in here. So you have a dimensional change that it can accept in this way and then the most of the presses have a slot going this way so it's just a matter of getting the bolts in the right spot mm -hmm. um, so that one there's three three different sizes covers a lot of the single stage presses a uh, different variant of this covers the Dillon 550 and the 750 mm -hmm. I think the 650 as well um, and then in between one covers I think both of the presses from Reading as well so the, the turret press and then I think they call it the big boss. Um, some of the other ones are a little more simple, just four holes. This one's for the coax press. Uh, it's just got four quarter inch bolts into it. The Henderson trimmer's got its own dedicated setup uh, where it's got the, the tray to hold it and then there's also a kind of a catch tray in there for the brass trimmings as well. So, nice. Yeah, and then the the 4190 press has a dedicated plate for it um and should we show the 
the bench vice as well. Yeah, so that done reloading your ammo and you need to work on your rifle a little bit. <laughs> bottom of, of the orange bench vise has the pull stud you know and, and the same geometry just built in so clamps right on there and just tighten um, them down and you're good tighten to go. them down so I didn't have the dowel pin in there which actually allows it to swivel uh, if you want to really use this thing and have it not twist then you put the dowel pin in there and yeah, then it's locked in place it'll lock in place and not rotate but Definitely, you know, anytime you're going to use it, you you do want to torque these down, but that'll kind of hold it in place. So. Yeah, so basically it's a one-stop workshop where you can do pretty much anything you want. You just need to have the right uh, adapter plate for it. Correct, yep. And another thing that was cool, it, can you talk about this piece here? That, yeah, so that's the piece I'm calling the sub base. And what I found, on, I mean, instantly found on my bench is with the, the bench vise swivel base, the whole locations are a fixed spot. Um, on my bench, that was gonna drill right through a cross member that's underneath the bench. So I came up with this mount. It would be optional, but I think it's gonna be needed quite often, but it, the swivel base goes on the top of it. But then this has the slotted holes, so you have some flexibility on where the the mounting bolts go through your bench top. On right, it, so. so you can slide it forward and then bolt the top down to right. this and yep. not have to drill through like a metal beam or something like that. Yeah, correct. Um, you know, there's a lot of benches have drawers under them, all sorts of stuff going on. So I right. think that will just allow allow a lot more flexibility on where where those holes go through. But what you really want is the front of these to be basically flush with the front of your bench. So then like on the vise, straight down from the jaws, you have clearance here. Mm -hmm. um, on all my presses, I tried to keep keep the handle clearance uh, from interfering with the bench top and all those those cases. So Okay, cool. So where can guys go to find this product? Uh, well, eventually we'll have it on my website on sawtoothrifles.com, but right now we're, we're very close to getting all the product photos and pricing and all that stuff figured out. So. Okay. Do you have like a time frame? Three weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, uh, yeah, I've, I've got a lot of these parts in stock already. Um, a few guys have talked me out of them and seen them floating around Facebook a little bit. Yeah. I know I'm going to be one uh, of those yeah. guys. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, one of those things that should have been done a couple months ago, but we're, we're getting there. We're very close. And I think probably in the next week or two, we'll have it all on the online and Maybe I'll, I'll even get the website working better too. So, <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So there it is, the modular base, uh, modular bench. Modular bench mount. <laughs> mount. Uh, modular bench mount system. Yeah. Uh, hit up sawtoothrifles.com. You can find it on there here real soon. Uh, probably by the time this video airs for sure, because you're not the only one who's buying. Now I have a deadline. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So uh, check it out guys. And if you like seeing new products like this, this is one of the things we're gonna try and do is highlight industry um, people more and the products that they make and get the word out to you guys. So uh, make sure you like and subscribe and we'll see you guys out there.